Hello, everybody. My name is Pizza Hunter Brent, and joined by PD Hunt, freaking out in the background for no apparent reason. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Crazy Accounts here on the Crazy Accounts server. I'm, of course, like I said, joined by the good old PD Hunt. He's looking very cute. Now, I do want to say one thing before we go ahead and get started with this, all right? So, yesterday, if you guys didn't catch it, I actually dove into a little bit of Tinkers. We used this beautiful tool forge over here, and we made ourselves quite a few items. We got this beautiful Lifesteal 6 Cleaver. This thing, if you guys haven't seen the video, check it out. TLDR, pretty much. It heals up 40 hearts in like 10 swings at an enemy. It's nuts. And we also made these things called Bedrockium Shurikens. Now, you see right here, infinite uses, itty-bitty usability, we have 20,000 of them. Literally 20,000 of these shurikens that can be used for whatever reason. Now, that's one thing, but I wanted to address... You've been taking random damage forever, and I don't know why. It's probably because he pops into that thing like a dumbass. Is that, uh... Yeah, there's blood in there. I don't think you caused any blood, though. I think it's only my blood that was in there from the beginning. Actually, no, 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 wait. Hold on a second. There's blood in here, and there wasn't before. Oh, you know what? I think, actually, you caused that, didn't you? Yeah, little Petey actually drew some blood in here. All right, well, that's not gross at all. One thing I did want to let you guys know about, okay, is the whole Tinker situation. Now, I love Tinkers as much as the next person. The only problem, though, is that because it's not a very new thing, you guys know a lot more about Tinkers, at least some of you, than I do. Now, yesterday, I got a couple people that were kind of angry at my lack of knowledge of Tinkers. Here's the thing. If you guys know me, and I've been playing mod packs for a little while here, I like to go into things blind. I like to learn things about them as I experience them, not necessarily always looking at Wikipedia's. Can you not do that, dude? I have this thing still set to left click for punch, so whenever I go in front of it, it just punches me. I like to personally have it so I find out things as I go along and as I progress or whatever. But I can definitely tell that that kind of irritates you guys when it comes to tinkers that I don't know a few things. For example, a ball of moss can be added to these to passively um, heal something up in terms of durability, but if you add in a ball of moss to Bedrockium, it'll literally give you more of the stack. So you can literally have infinite Bedrockium. Oh! That's how you're taking random damage. Okay, let's turn this thing off. It's actually irritating me. There you go. Are you good now, PD? Yeah, now he's fine. He kept hopping in front of that. That makes a lot of sense. Okay. Don't know why I never clicked in my head. But yeah, apparently adding a ball of moss onto this would actually allow it to be literally infinite because it would generate up more of these up to a stack of 20,000. There's a few other things that I've learned from you guys, you know, telling me about stuff. So I'll do a bit more research into Tinkers before I continue doing anything else in it, which I actually might want to do a little bit more today. What I want to do first, though, is I actually want to look, okay? Check us out right now. You guys know we've been using the Creative Strongbox. This beautifully, amazingly, stupidly good item right there. How many L-Y words can I even say in a sentence when it's still accurate? We've been using this thing for a very long time, and it's just incredible. It's amazing. It's the best thing I think I've ever had. But there's not just the Creative Strongbox. There's also the Strongbox, Hardened, Reinforced, and Resonant Strongbox. Obviously, Strongbox being the weakest, Resonant being the highest, and I've never used uses before, and I actually don't know what they do. Going into a blind, I don't know what these other strong boxes do, so I want to take a little bit of time here and look at what exactly they do, because is there a possibility that there is a strong box out there that has the capability of this without it being a creative one? Because if that is actually the case, now obviously you guys have told me what I can do is I can bag that strong box up by taking it out with a hammer, putting it inside like an alchemical bag, popping that in here, and then we have unlimited creative strong boxes, but I want to see possibly, because Kara's been looking uh, to get a Korea strong box for a while could we possibly just give her one of these and have it work about the same so i'm not really sure about that but we're gonna figure that out in just a little bit but before we do let's go ahead and get into our illuminati pet opening so two episodes ago the video hit around 3600 likes which is a little bit less than usual so we're gonna be doing seven illuminati pets right now you guys know the deal every 500 likes equals one illuminati pet opening every thousand equals two whatever you want to call it we're gonna go ahead and just crush these guys right out now first two of these guys are gonna give us a curse of vampire from hardcore ender expansion I like that. New unique item. And a sandstone kinesis pipe. All right. We still haven't uh, taken out the mods that we said we were going to. That'll happen very, very soon. Next two Illuminati pets are going to be a bag of popcorn from Ore Spawn and a floppy disk from Computer Craft. All right. Next to these guys right here is going to be a potatoes from Portal Gun. All right. And an essence infused helmet Mark III from Magical Crops. Awesome. We'll be getting into this very, very soon. I actually really love Magical Crops and I've been missing it since I did in the Magpack days. Final one of these guys though, we're going to get a cobblestone fluid pipe. 
pink, whatever, won't connect to stone or quartz. Like that even matters to us. That's just going to go ahead and do it for right now. So let's clear up our inventory and get working then on these strong boxes. I really want to see what the Curse of the Vampires actually use for. It looks really cool. And the potatoes, on the other hand, too. I think actually, hold on. Can I put... Isn't it just made... Hold on. Let me see. Right. Oh, I think I can make an upgrade. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on a second. If I just do it like this and then like that... Yeah! Portal gun. We got the potato portal gun. Awesome. So now it has... Uh, Oh, we got GLaDOS! Oh, man. Hold on. Wait, wait, wait. No more noise? Damn. I guess it's just like the first time you put it in your inventory. That's actually really cool. I, she, like, even talks in that. And then it's the same color portal. Oh, no. Actually, they're slightly different. They're a little bit more gray toned out. I guess because of Gladys' uh, very, very dark soul, I suppose. But, yeah. We got a new portal gun. Either way. Let's go ahead and get crafting on these strong boxes and see what exactly they do. So, the standard strong box right here is made out of a chest and tin ingots surrounding it. Either tinkers or thermal foundation. So, we're going to go ahead and uh, just make one of these guys up right now and see what exactly exactly it is so we'll go ahead and put it down right here so strong box okay this is part of thermal expansion i might need power for some of these but it doesn't look like it so this is a strong box right here all right so 24 diamonds being put inside of there and then um okay so from what i'm looking at right now it's 18 it's obviously um less than a normal chest so there has to be some sort of reason for this as to why there's so many so much less maybe the box itself is just actually stronger maybe it has like a bigger explosive radius okay i want to go into it blind but it looks like i'm gonna have to do a little bit of research since it doesn't seem like this is actually working up all that much but let's actually see right here if we look up the hardened strong box okay so we've got a few strong boxes in here let me actually go ahead and toss in maybe a few strong boxes into our good old emmy system right here this we got a few to craft with so do we have invar ingots do we have some of those yes we do so we now have ourselves a hardened strong box so you can place down in there looks actually really really cool and this one has okay so there's four on that end all right very very cool the next one is a reinforced one this is made of harmonium what is that harm no 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 hardened glass um hardened lumium glass or fused quartz from ender io i don't know if we have any of these it's made out of pulverized obsidian and lumium blend okay and uh, the hardened glass is made out of obsidian powder and lead ingots all right and then what was the final one that we need to look up right now hardened lumium right there and then what about the fused quartz oh that's actually the easiest one we can do we can actually make that right now do i have quartz inside of here i should have a boatload Eh, 36 is a little bit less than a boatload, but we go ahead and bring this guy over to the alloy smelter, and I guess just jump in three of those guys right over there. That's going to go ahead and in a moment should smelt up and make us some, uh, are you going to work? Hold on, is it going to work for me right there? There we go, three, another, is that what you were asking me to do, right? Fuse quartz and then another quartz, oh, I need four actually. Unless, oh, yeah, you actually need a bit of it. So we'll do two around here, three, and then four. And that should go ahead and fuse to make us some glass. Perfect. I think while that's smelting, I better actually look up what exactly it is that these guys do that's so different. Because you can tell right here, there's a big difference. This one only has one. But um, they seem to operate in different ways. Let's do a little bit of research. All right, so I'm looking at this up right here, and it's uh, it's kind of what you would think right now. So strong boxes, um, let me actually go ahead and read it off of here a little bit easier. So strong boxes, number one, are more resistant to explosions. A lot more resistant to explosions. Part of the reason why with the creative one over here, when we blew our entire house up with uh, TNT, these things didn't explode. That's kind of like, you know, a bit of a point right there. That's one thing. Another one is it can actually have Signalum security locks installed on them, which I would imagine is some sort of security feature. And the final thing is obviously with the Crescent Hammer, which is this guy over here. We'll go ahead and take a look at it. Crescent Hammer right over here from Thermal Expansion. So if we were to put in item, you can also turn them, by the way. This is really cool. You can do that with a lot of blocks, though. So. so with this right here, with the Creeper Head, you can actually go ahead and shift click with the Crescent Hammer and it'll drop the item. But then once you have the item dropped, you can pick it back up. Up and all the items will be back in there kind of like a portable inventory sort of like an alchemical bag but you can physically place it down and give it to more people and stuff like that actually making the highest tier of this if you hold around a crescent hammer a pretty useful item now there is one thing that actually makes a lot of sense over here to prevent infinite crafting storage or creating infinite storage rather as well as some world corrupting issues you cannot store items that can also store items themselves like other strong boxes or satchels now obviously the whole uh, alchemical 
bags and golden bags of holding seem to be in mods that are not really, um, you know, it doesn't really follow that because obviously you can get unlimited storage that way, infinite. So it doesn't really support those mods. If it did and it knew about them and could help against that, it wouldn't allow you to do anything like that. But um, yeah, that's why we can't put a strong box inside of here. Now, the other cool thing, okay, let me go ahead and show you guys. Let me go through the tier progression and then I'll show you guys the really cool stuff. So we got ourselves some fused quartz along from here. We'll go ahead and save us some time. And, you know, like we said, we're using the strong boxes this episode. So we're going to go ahead and use some of these. We'll go ahead and drop those guys down here and put a hardened strong box inside of there. We'll actually put in a few of them. And that's the final strong box that I have. So what I'm going to be looking for right now is a reinforced strong box, which we have out of the, uh, what is this right now? Fused quartz. So we'll pop this guy down right next to it. Looks kind of more similar to the strong box itself, but this one right here has six rows of nine. So 54 in total. And the final one we're going to be looking at right now is, of course, the resonant with the beautiful endurium ingots surrounding it. We do, of course, have those. So we're going to go ahead and use one. The only problem, though, is that we are going to need our, to make ourselves another reinforced strong box and drop that inside of there. And then we'll go ahead and crop this up right there. And there we go. We've got ourselves a resonant strong box. Basically, the highest tier strong box. It looks gorgeous. I have to say, I love these guys so, so much. PD. You can be a beautiful color, but you'll never be that beautiful. Even my green isn't as beautiful as that. That's that's like a, a very mysterious emerald color. It looks really, really nice. So this guy right here obviously has, I believe this is eight rows. Yeah, eight rows of nine, giving 72 for the most part. Now, if you check out the information right now, it says it's a box. Source things, well, most things, can be enchanted to hold more things. Now, enchanted. Sounds a little bit weird the way you're saying it, right? You can actually enchant this guy with an item, and I'm going to go ahead and show it to you right here, called Holding. That was uh, my Discord going off. <laughs> Be right back. Now, when it comes to actually getting these enchanted books or whatever, at least I would assume that's the way that you're meant to be able to enchant this. I don't actually know because I'm not going to lie to you guys. I'm having a little bit of trouble actually looking it up right now. For some reason, if you search up enchanted book in this, it doesn't actually show you all of the possible enchant books that you can get. It just shows enchanted book, nothing else. So I can't actually take a look and see if there is a, uh, a holding enchanted book, which I would assume that there is. So I'm actually going to see if I have one in here. If I look up holding, yeah, I don't have one. So I obviously can't get it off of a level one which is a little bit interesting because I think I'm supposed to be able to get that. So what I'm going to actually do real fast here, I wouldn't normally go this route. I'm actually going to go into game mode one. I just want to see if I actually look through here and we search up uh, enchanted book. It should show all the enchanted books in here. At least I believe it should. Yeah, there you go. So let's go ahead and look through. I'm going to look through here, you know, not waste you guys time and see if I can find some sort of holding enchantment because there are multiple levels to holding and it should come up in here if it's in the game at all. So let's go ahead and take a little bit of a look here. And I'll be right... Yeah, here's the... Uh, yes, yeah, Sever, Crush, Overpower. You got a lot... Oh, there! Yeah, okay. So you can actually... Okay, so holding four right there. So it is a full enchanted book that you can get from here. Interesting. So I guess we'll have to try our hand one day at being able to get a level 30 off of that. We can maybe try that right now and see. Because actually, you know what? If I go over to this guy right here, how many levels? I've got 300. And, oh, my dear God. Hold on. Let me go ahead and retrieve all. 319 levels. We can use all of that right now to maybe try 10 books. Uh, that might actually not even be worth it. We're going to give that a shot right now. So let me go ahead and get out our good old, uh, ooh, do I, okay, I do have an enchanting table. There we go. We'll go ahead and pop this guy down right over here. I don't actually enchant all that much, which is why I don't really have an enchanting table area. And then we'll go ahead and see, do I have bookshelves? Yes, indeed I do. And I guess we'll just go ahead and grab out a little bit more books. And so we've got a lot of those guys, obviously. So let's just set this up and see if we can get maybe any of those little PD while I'm building. I'm sorry, but I'm going to have to despawn you. You were good while you lasted, but unfortunately you're now gone. All right. So full level 30 over here. Obviously, as you guys may remember, this is 1.7.10, so this does take a full 30 levels, and I'm not able to see anywhere else. And it also looks like that's the maximum 22 right there. Interesting. I guess back in 1.7.10, you couldn't just put it like that, or maybe there's something different going on that I'm a little bit confused about. Uh, level 30? Yeah, there we go. So, I guess we'll do 10 level 30 in chance and see if we can get holding 4 off of that. I don't really know what else to go for, because you can't get off of 1, so let's give it a shot. Alright, the first level 30 book is going to give us Vigor 2 and Efficiency 4. Alright, it's a custom in chance, so I guess that's kind of cool. The next level 30 book is going to give us Bane of Arthropods 3. Oh god, please don't let it be this way. The third one, Poison Arrow 2. Not bad. I'm really hoping we can at least get one holding book or if we're a holding book so if we can we can get unlimited because we have the creative strong box so we can just anvil them together next one of these guys is heat one all right all right blast one oh god we're half of the way done 169 levels left giggity over there regeneration one not bad kind of like that all right next one of these guys let's see what we got homing one again 
Three more tries. All right. Let's see. Regeneration one again. Wow. All right. That's another uh, repeat there. The next level 30. Heat one again. And the final level 30. Ah! Steadfast. Damn it. Okay. Do I know what any of these guys do? I definitely do not. If I did, I if I said I did, I did I'd be lying to you. But um, yeah, looks like those are our books for right now. Let's just go ahead and uh, break this guy all down. Now, obviously, I can get more experience if I need to. And I very well might. There's a way, apparently, to get automated XP. But if I really want to get experience, I can just go over there and hook up a little drain and just pour it on me for a little while. But risk crashing the server, so we're not going to do that right now. Maybe off camera and we'll, we'll see how it goes. So either way, let's go ahead and put away all of our books from right here. Unfortunately, we didn't get what we wanted, but that's fine. The other thing that I want to check out, though, is the, uh, what's it called? The security feature over here, which is actually known as, ooh, I need to figure this out. Hold on. All right, so here it is right here. It's the Signalum security lock, and this guy is made out of a bronze ingot and Signalum nuggets. Now, do I have any of these? I'm not sure that I do, but I'm going to see if I do, and we do have a bronze ingot, so we've got that much. We do not, do we have Signalum, though? Do I have Signalum? Hold on, let me go ahead and check right here. I actually do not have signalum interesting how exactly am i meant to be able to get one of these guys right now i need to figure out how to craft it it's going to show me what i can craft with it but not how to craft it so i need to do a little bit of research and try and get me one of these because if you guys actually take a look right over here i'll show it to you the very fascinating thing about these uh, strong boxes is if we go ahead and look up the creative strong box right over here it actually requires a signal security lock to be able to make it now obviously it's a weird it's a weird uh recipe because you need a creative strong box to make a creative strong box so really if you think about it, it's just an infinite loop. So you can never actually make us in vanilla Minecraft, or not vanilla, but in survival. And obviously, the only way you're supposed to be able to get these is made out of these. It's actually kind of funny, too. If you guys look up the uh, tutorial for strong boxes, there's actually some questions being like, how did Pete get the creative one? I don't know. That's just kind of flattery to me. It's like, wow, that's, um, didn't really expect a comment from me to appear in that reference to it. But that video did get 220,000 views, which is insane. So, uh, yeah, on a little bit of research, figure out how to get that signal limit. get. Interesting. So this thing that we need to create over here requires copper ore as well as silver ore and something called the stabilized redstone, I believe. So I want to actually take a look right now. Do I have any, uh, I believe, was it copper or it's silver ore? Do I have any silver from here? I do have silver ingots from Thermal Foundation, but I do not have the actual silver dust, which is what we're going to need to be able to create this guy. So I'm going to need three copper dust as well as the ingot or just just, um, yeah, as well as the copper over here. So let me actually see. Do I have any copper ore? I do have... Oh, man. We have 12 copper ore, but we have one copper ore from thermal. That is actually beautiful. We also have molten copper there. A little bit interesting. Uh, it doesn't look like... Oh, we do have a copper ingot from thermal foundation as well. Fascinating. So if I go ahead and take this guy right over here, it looks like the way that I have to smelt these, and I'm going to give us a shot right now to actually make the copper dust to be able to make this ingot, we need to use it in a macerator. So a macerator over here is uh oh is that not a thing in this hold on we might have to do it some other way in fact i think the way that i need to do it is off of something that we already have i think if i just go over to the alloy smelter and try it off of this this should hopefully not give us an ingot and give us the dust oh oh damn hmm I need to figure out a way to make... Oh, you know what? Actually, no, 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 no. Sag mill. Maybe the sag mill will actually work on this if I go ahead and give it a try. It looks like that might actually do it because this is obviously a different thing. This, I would imagine, because we've got flint power in here, I'm pretty sure. At least I think so. Pulverized copper. Oh, that's not what we need. Uh, we need two copper dust, not pulverized copper. Interesting. Uh, there is also an item in here called the industrial grinder, which doesn't look like we have that either. I don't know what mod that's from. Shoot, I need to figure out a way to get this. Do we even have copper dust in this mod pack? Is there even a way to get this? Co no. Wait, we don't even have copper dust. So that's not even a thing that we need to be able to make here. We have pulverized copper, though, but we don't have copper dust. How the hell are we supposed to get signalum, then, in that case, if we don't have copper... Okay, be right back. I don't actually see right here. Do we even have silver dust? We don't even have... It's not even looking... We don't even have... We don't even have silver dust. And then the destabilized redstone bucket. Do we even have that? Destabilized... Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. So we do still have destabilized redstone bucket right here from Thermal. Okay. Interesting. So that's used off of a magma crucible. 
Okay, so that's how you get to stabilize redstone, but I'm not really sure how exactly I'm supposed to be able to get the rest of the stuff that we need to make this. Oh, okay, okay. I actually wasn't looking it up properly. They do have the recipe on here, and it's a lot different from what I saw in the, uh, the, the wiki, because I think we have different mods installed. So, what you need for this right here is copper powder, uh, pulverized copper, or pulverized silver as well. So, if we go ahead and grab us some silver, which I believe I actually have over here. Now, we don't have silver ore. I want to see if there's a possibility just using the silver ingot could actually maybe do... Ooh. I think this might actually do what we wanted to. Hold on. You're going to give us the pulverize, right? Please tell me you're going to. Let me see it. Hey, that's what I'm talking about, baby. So let me go ahead and put some of these guys right in there. There we go. And we got the pulverized copper as well. So now what we're going to have to do, though, we need to make the destabilized redstone, which is made off of a magma crucible. Interesting. I've never actually used this item before. Uh, magma crucible, which is... Uh, how do you craft this guy? You're going to need a leadstone energy cell frame, a machine frame resonant, and a few... Ooh. This is actually uh, quite a lot of stuff right here that, we got, that we're going to have to make. Okay, so let's see what we don't have. So lead set right here, we can actually create... Ooh, wait a minute, hold on. What do we need for this? We need lead ingots. Crud. How do you get lead? Oh, dear God. Okay, lead. Oh, you need lead ore. Oh, shoot. Do I have lead? Do I have any? Oh, I have lead nuggets. Wait, that's enough. I think it's enough. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Lead nuggets right there. 64 of them. Perfect. And then we can go ahead and hold on. Let me return that right there. Lead nuggets. Can I make it? Oh, baby. I love it so much. We'll take the lead and get right there and drop that into there. Dude, I just love cheating my way through this mod pack. It's so nice, but it ain't cheating. We got it legit, baby. Oh, define legit. I don't know what you call it. Either way, though, let me go ahead and drop that inside of there. And we'll make ourselves one leadstone machine frame. Beautiful, baby. I love it. All right. Next one's going to be a machine frame. Uh, this has to be actually any kind of machine frame. Very, very cool. The only thing that we need right there is a gear. So I'll go ahead and make some invar gears first off. We got to make two of those guys right there. And then we're also going to need a tin gear off in the middle. Uh, hold on. Let me go ahead and get the basic one out here. That's the reinforce. I'm waiting for not the resonant, but we need the basic. There we go. So a tin gear right here. We'll go ahead and craft up one of those guys. And we're looking good. So now we can go ahead and make the basic whenever it comes back around. I don't really know. I guess it just takes any machine frame i don't really think it makes a difference there we go and we got ourselves a basic machine frame looking good and then the final thing right here we got one of those guys put back inside and it looks like that's gonna about do it and we got ourselves enough to make a basic magma crucible i guess right there would depend on what kind of machine frame that you have would make it obviously a lot better but i think it should be able to get us you know through what we need to uh we'll go ahead and get rid of the autonomous activator it's cool but honestly it's just like not gonna say draining power since we have unlimited but it's not really doing anything so there's magma crucible getting loaded up with all that rf right there and if we go ahead and put redstone in there let me actually uh, real fast here make this into a redstone block so it'll go a little bit faster so smelting this up right now will give us uh oh that actually really made a lot of redstone blocks that's fine putting this in here there we go so this guy's gonna give us uh from what it looks like yeah turn solid materials into fluids so let's go ahead and grab a bucket out of here i believe we should have yeah we got 22 empty buckets we actually got a lot of buckets we got ender goo essence bucket lava bucket molten cobalt molten iron and a spirit bucket all from different mods i like it very very cool all right so now we're gonna get ourselves destabilized redstone uh 1800 out of uh so how exactly do i get the redstone out of this do i have to like maybe shift click hmm how do I augmentation? Interesting. Disabled redstone control configuration, obviously. So how do I pull tutorial? Uh, the redstone control tab has device reaction to redstone signals. Uh, requires... Okay, that's interesting. So how exactly do I get this out into the bucket then? Huh. Give me a moment. Oh, so it looks like we're actually going to have to figure out a way to pull the redstone out of here, which is kind of a little bit fascinating. I've never had to do that. I've normally just been able to take a bucket right there, and it looks like it's a little bit less complicated than before. We're able to use this thing called a golden... Uh, hold on. What's it right here? A golden fluid pipe. So golden fluid over here. Do I have one of those is a question right now. This is from BC Transport. I'm sure I've got something along the lines of this that would work, although I'm not really sure how exactly I do any of this. Like, do I have enough to be able to make a golden? Okay, I don't. Uh, fluid pipe. Do I have a fluid pipe? I do have a diamond fluid pipe, so that's a really, really cool right there. Um, don't really know if there's anything else. No, I do not have any more fluid pipes except for this one guy right there. So go ahead and hook that up to the end. And then this right here is a bunch of filters. Okay. Um, I'm going to do the most basic thing. Nope, that does not work. No, that does not work. How do I extract from here? Let me research. So it's probably just as simple right now as um, using the tanks, which I believe I should actually have quite a few of those, even maybe from thermal expansion. So I believe we go ahead and look up tank right here. I've got ourselves... Oh... 
I forgot I have these things. Fluid empty, infinite source. I forgot that I have the creative ones. Okay, and then we also got, in case those don't work, we also just have a standard tank for open blocks right there. So we can go ahead and try that out. I forgot I have the portable tank right here. So we go ahead and hook that up right there. Oh, baby. All right, so um, how exactly this gets into here? Mode is input. All right, that's fine. Uh, I need to configure right now how exactly to get the fluid out and into here because it looks like we're obviously not able to break this thing. No, we definitely can not uh diamond fluid pipe right there filters i don't know what any of this means i need to figure out how to get from that into here so we're gonna try that right now oh there we go baby that's what i thought i thought i didn't have it right so this right here obviously is how you configure it and this is the top one right there you set it to orange that's pushed so now we went ahead and connected with the transport pipes and we now have our crit oh on, on, on let me get rid of that so our creative portable tank now has ten thousand, whatever it may be and i think now there we go that's what i mean baby i love it so we now got ourselves to stabilize redstone buckets which is beautiful and we'll go ahead and put the rest of that stuff in there and now it looks like finally we'll be able to create ourselves just a little bit our first little bit of a uh, signalum now i believe how do i pronounce it hold on sing no lump there we go and uh we're gonna need the signal and blend over here which i believe if i go ahead and set up right there there we go and right click it on the side and the question mark we can get ourselves for signal and blend and of course we got to put the bucket away now i've got this guy a little you know a little stuck there i believe if i use the crescent hammer i should be able to break it which i'm going to actually do right now just to kind of get out of this way there we go and you now have infinites um destabilized redstone literally an infinite source of it we will never need to use any of this ever ever again including the substance the transport pipes you you are good for what you are but we'll go ahead and leave you be in fact actually let me go ahead and just actually leave these pipes like here just have it hooked up like that and then maybe we could actually have the portable tank just sitting up top there uh unless it's actually not gonna work hold on a second wait where's the portable oh i saw the portable tank um huh hold on a second let me break this down that's gonna take a little while um we'll go ahead and do it like that create a portable tank we'll go ahead and place it down there just in case like we need anything that actually looks really really cool i really love that addition so let's pop this guy back inside of here so we got the signal and blend now so what we're going to need to make is the signal and nuggets which is made out of here so to be able to make this i guess all we really have to do is just smelt this guy up so now that we've got signal and blend uh i guess if we just put a little bit of wood into here like a, i don't think a bookshelf can cook it let me actually get a little bit of coal here so i think if we put the coal into here and the blend on top it should cook it into into an ingot that's a soul forge that's not a <laughs> brandon that's a soul forge not a furnace here's your furnace over here okay we got the block of coal right there and we go ahead and just do one of those guys right there that is going to give us a beautiful signal lemon ingot looks really, really nice and we'll pop it right there for nine of the nuggets and then um yeah that's really i think all that we need we got signal security lock over here with the bronze and there we go baby we have ourselves the lock so let's go ahead and pop these guys inside of here ironic that we're putting you know one of the things that we need to be able to make this inside of there and we got a bunch of junk in our inventory let me clean that out all right so we've got one of the security locks right here now i'll assume all i have to do is just like right click onto it or something actually that's not how you do it from what it's looking like right here how exactly do i put a signal of security lock inside of here do i maybe have to do it where i put it like this and inside my inventory no that is definitely not the case i need to figure out how to actually apply a security lock onto here if that's in fact how it can work otherwise maybe how you do it is the way that you create oh you know what? I've actually got a little bit of an idea right here. If you guys look up the create... Oh, you know what? Yeah, hold on a second. I doubt this is actually going to work, but we'll give it a shot anyway. The creative uh, strongbox right here is made out of a signal of security lock up top there and three signal of nuggets. So what if I was to take over here one of these locks right here, and if we go ahead and grab up our signal of nuggets over here, uh, do I have... Um, hold on. Did I get more... Wait a minute. Hold on. Did I smell more up here? Wait. Where's the rest of my signal? signal um do i have okay so i still have more right there so we can use these fine so if i go ahead and do that right there does that there we go so now right there it says owner none access public oh i'm so glad that i actually did that and it works out beautifully i love it so much so let's take a signal and blend right there and take out a strong box and we'll go ahead and replace it and put it down right over here so now we have a strong box owner pizza hut public interesting so now oh there we go baby so public access restricted and owner only so restricted from what i've heard is the ability to add friends so for example if there are some people on the server that i liked but other people that i really really hated you know like that one person that we don't talk about ever we can base oh that's cool it actually has a little yellow tip right there so wait a minute then hold on a second 
Oh my, you know what? Kara has been the cheekiest person in the world. You know what I'm actually going to do? Hold on a second. I'm going to take this out right here, right? And I'm going to take the Crescent Hammer. Let me go ahead and just grab this over here. And let's go ahead and just pop this down. But we'll, here, we'll go over here, okay? Let's put in a couple more of the Signal and Blend, just so we got a little bit more. And we'll use the remainder of those. And we'll take over our Signal and Ingot right there. And we'll take the Signal and Nuggets. So now, I believe, if I put in three of those right there, that's going to allow us to have an owner set. So now, owner is still none. I believe, it. yeah, owner Pizza Hut. And we can now set this to owner only. So now, Kara and nobody else can touch it and maybe oh it actually has a little diamond tip right there that looks really really cool am i cheeky yes of course i most definitely am but is it awesome yeah it's still freaking awesome so let me go ahead and do the same thing i think with the other one over here that's actually supplying our infinite energy obviously you know i don't mind kara taking my stuff i really hold no personal grudge against her it's just fun to do like i you know obviously i'll probably set it to where kara can use it but i did want to see whether or not there was some sort of ability oh wait a minute hold older only is oh it's yellow for restricted and diamond for owner only that's really cool that's actually really really cool so we go ahead and go over to this guy right here change it to owner i like it i like it a lot so crescent amber is going to go down right over here let's go ahead and do this with all three of these guys right over there so we'll do it over there there we go and we're going to actually need to duplicate this guy up right now so we'll take that right there there we go we got a stack of 64 signal them and we'll go ahead and get a bunch of those guys there signal um one two and three and we'll pop in the harden inside of there uh that's not working for some reason oh it already has an owner that would be why next one we'll pop in is the reinforce and the final one is going to be the resonant looking very very nice so we'll go ahead and put one down there and two down there and three down there and set them all to private and owner just to give it a little bit of an idea that looks really really cool so overall the strong boxes the creative one is the only one that does something like duplicate items obviously and by the way for you guys wondering the holding ability does allow you more um what's it called inventory slots doesn't matter if you enchant the creative strong box with it it will still only have one slot for those that were like "Ooh, that sounds really really cool no unfortunately you can't but these guys are strong boxes you know what i could actually do in this case let me go ahead and uh, take this resonant strong box that we've got right over here it's still Oh, it has my little icon. Ah, that's really, really cool. Let's go ahead. Wait a minute. Hold on. I can't do that, can I? Nope. You can't put strong boxes inside of there. You know what? We're going to go ahead and gift this resonant strong box over to Kara. Let me go ahead and place this guy back down right there. And we'll do public access on the lock and leave it be. And uh, let's go ahead and pick up the crescent hammer. So Kara's house is all the way over. I believe it's right over here. It's in this little area right over there. Let's go ahead and teleport over to Kara's house and give her a little resonant strong box item. We'll make her think that it does something awesome but you know in reality it doesn't Ooh, oh it's a void chest i love those things there we go so resonant strong box down right over there and then what can we maybe care doesn't have an emmy system she needs to do it soon guys peg her to do it she needs to do it fast i promise you let me go ahead and get a little bit of a uh, sign out here real fast does she have a sign in any oh my god it's been so long since i've had a search through chest good lord when i go back to like a vanilla minecraft smp if that ever happens h4m if that ever happens i will be so out of my league ah I don't even want to deal with it. Like, can you guys just, you know, make it vanilla, but at the same time, just add maybe, I don't know, the ME system mod and just leave it at that, you know? Make Applied Logistics 1.9 and just add that in. Here we go. We got signs. They're not the amazing signs, but at the same time, oh, you know what we could actually do? Wait a minute. No, 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 no. We're not going to go pleb right now. Kara doesn't actually have the frame fancy signs like we want, but we're going to go ahead and set those up right now. 240, because with the frame fancy signs, you can actually set it to where you can put an item in the middle, and that'll really grab her attention. So, if we go ahead and get rid of this search right there and we'll go ahead and look up signs we got the frame fancy sign over there and then what do we maybe oh a signal of security lock possibly we can maybe use these to look right there that might actually look kind of cool although i'm not really sure if i want to give this to kara i think she should kind of go through that uh struggle herself just kind of figure it out maybe uh hmm not really sure what other thing that we want to do here that would actually like look kind of cool that would maybe like say that's so overpowered maybe i don't know because i can't put the creative strong box in there because she'll be able to get it and get another one and i don't have unlimited maybe yeah you know what maybe the lock will be fine i think the lock will be fine i'm not really too worried about it and you know she'll probably create it if she needs it so let's go ahead and teleport back over to her area which is over here drop that down and give her a nice little gift teleport height is going to be a good old 80 that's really cool though like we learned about strong boxes figured 
figured out that it's only the creative one that's stupidly overpowered, none of the others. So there we go. And we'll go ahead and put the frame fancy signs down right there, there, and there. Looking great. And then I guess we have the normal sign right here for the actual arrows. There we go. Um, can we actually set it to maybe look kind of cool? So we can do it maybe like that. And then we'll do like a little eye like this to where they look like they're pointing there. Maybe? Does that look a little weird? Ah, no, it kind of looks like arrows, sort of. You don't count the fact that there's a lot more lines than arrows. And then I think we go ahead and take the signal and lock right here. We can actually just right-click it onto the sign or something like that. Hold on, how do I do this? I can shift-click right here to actually edit it. And then can I put in... There we go. So I can put in the actual image or the actual item right there. Text scale up to four. Is that how it works? How do I... Okay, I don't know if I can make it larger. Just got a little lock right there. How do I make them bigger? There's a way to make these guys bigger. How do I do that? I need to figure that out. You know, I'm not really sure how exactly I can make these guys bigger, even if I can, because I tried doing the formatting. It's not really working. She also has a little fairy lights thing over there. Let's go ahead and leave her a message right here just saying um, it may not be the creative one. Uh, the creative one, but at least, but at least you have one. Oh, God, I hate these standard signs so much. You know what? Oh, I wish I could use a... Uh, hold on. Let's go ahead and rewrite that. It's not the creative one, but at least you... Hold on. At least you got one. There we go. There we go. We're good. Okay, so now it looks... Okay, it's all right. Resident Strongbox right there. Owner's Pizza Hut. We're allowing Kara to use it if she wants to. And then I should probably also give her a Crescent Hammer or tell her that she needs a Crescent Hammer. I'm sure she can figure that out. Well, actually, I don't even know if she can figure that out on her own. Just because I, I'm not saying anything about her. She's very smart. She's a very intelligent person. But I had no idea that Crescent Hammer even worked with that there. Um, or was able to turn blocks around. In fact, is there any block? You know what? Actually, I'm going to help her out a little bit. Let me see. Could I possibly... I don't think I can actually turn this. Can I? If I just hit it like this, does that turn it? No. I think it only works with actual item. Unless... No, no, no. There we go. Hey, we can turn our items around and actually make it look a little bit nicer in our house. Aw, look at the good needs that we're doing. Guys, we're going to go ahead and end it off there, I think, just to go ahead and give us a good little start to the day... Or end for today's episode. Start? End? I don't know what it is. We took it a little bit more of a dive into strong boxes and figured out that... We kind of really do have the most overpowered strongbox in the game, and there really is no better way to say it. Ultimately, it's just an amazing tool, and uh, I wonder if she'll even notice that I changed these around on here. I don't know. Maybe she will, maybe she won't. Guys, I'm going to go and dip it off there. Hopefully, you all enjoy it. And if you did, be sure to drop a like. Obviously, just want to say, guys, I love you so much, and thank you all for continuing to support the series. It means a lot. And um, yeah, catch you all back next time. Tomorrow, we're going to do something awesome. We've been really focusing on just like building stuff and tinkers and everything, which has been fun. Uh, it's also getting very dark out right now. Looks like it's about to rain if it's not already. And I think it's, yeah, it's definitely about to rain soon. But either way, guys, we'll do some epic stuff tomorrow. Really get into a lot more fun, insane, crazy jazz. Um, but yeah, just hope you guys enjoyed. Take care. I'll get you all back next time. See ya!